look 10 years younger and like you've slept for 10 hours in 10 minutes. Today I'm going to show you a natural and very realistic makeup look that you can execute on yourself in 10 minutes or less. This quick look is going to take years off your face and you don't need to be an expert to execute it. This works really well on anyone from the age of 30 all the way up to the age of like late 70 or 80. It is fresh, it's glowy, it's youthful, and best of all, it's not at all overdone. Let's go. We are going to start with our skin prep. Having supple, really well hydrated skin is super, super important. The hydrated look of the skin alone will do wonders for your overall appearance and it will allow you to wear much less makeup and still look really great. As my first step, I'm going to go in with my illuminating dark spot corrector by the brand City Beauty. I am really excited to partner with City Beauty today because I am a huge fan of this brand and I use many other products, not only on myself. I do use it on myself, but I also use it on many of my clients, like all of my clients. <laughs> They've heard me rave about it so many times. City Beauty also gave me an awesome discount code for you today. So if you've seen me mention their products before and you've been waiting for a deal, keep watching and I'll get to that in a second. So the reason that I'm using the dark spot corrector over another one of their serums is because my skin has this tendency to become hyperpigmented and this formula is specifically made to reduce dark spots, palm redness, and even out the skin tone, which is exactly, exactly what I need. So all I do is I massage the serum on my clean, dry skin using an upward motion and then I allow it to fully absorb. On top of that, I go in with a facial sunscreen and I let that sink in for a second before moving along to foundation. Now, I know you're gonna ask me this. I do skip a moisturizer during the day because I have very oily skin and a serum plus a sunscreen really is enough for me. But if you have very dry skin, then I would also recommend adding a moisturizer to that routine. Now, this is a really commonly asked question. I know someone's going to ask me in the comments and it was even a question I had myself. When do you apply your sunscreen, right? Do you apply it before or after your moisturizer? In terms of the order of the products, you would use your serum, then your moisturizer, and then your sunscreen. There is some debate about this and I've done it differently before. And I've actually mentioned different things in previous videos, but I was speaking with Penny from the amazing channel, Penn Smith Skincare, and this is how she does it. And she knows everything about skincare. Okay. So <laughs> I would trust her. She said that the sunscreen is the bridge between skincare and makeup. As another form of prep, I also like to apply my City Beauty Plum lip gloss, the clear one. This is one of my favorite products of all time. It is a deeply hydrating gloss that has all sorts of incredible ingredients in it. It not only really deeply hydrates your lips, but it also plumps. So you're going to notice as it's on that my lips start flushing and turning like a really soft pinkish color. It's very cool. All right, moving right along to foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to use this drugstore product that I just discovered this week that I am madly in love with. Okay. It's the age perfect tinted balm. I've used the age perfect foundation on the channel a bunch of times and I love it. I recommend it all the time. So as soon as I saw this balm at the drugstore, I had to grab it and I had to try it. Actually, my mom and I both bought it. We were on vacation together and we were wearing it while we were on vacation and we were like, oh my God, this is awesome. She actually likes the balm even more than she likes the foundation, which is interesting. She got more coverage out of the balm and she said it didn't settle at all in her um, fine lines and wrinkles, which is awesome. It is approved by a woman in her mid sixties. So I love that because I love it on my skin. You know, I'm nearing 40 and she loves it on her skin and she's in her mid sixties. L'Oreal has done a really good job with these foundations. So I like to apply this using my BK beauty brush number a one zero one, which is a contoured foundation brush. Applying foundation with a dense brush like this is a great way to get an airbrush finish with very little effort and in very little time. So you always want to start in the center of the face and blend it out to the perimeter so that you don't get any demarcation lines in the jawline or even in the hairline area. After the foundation is on, I go in with my concealer. Okay. Here's a, here's a tip. Okay. When you are in a hurry, you want to find or use a concealer that is very close to the color of your skin. It takes a lot of time to correct under the eyes with a corrector, let the product dry down, then brighten with a lighter tone and then set. 
So if you're in a hurry or you're a makeup beginner, just grab a concealer that is very similar to your skin tone and use that. I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer today. I'm trying to keep this video really budget friendly for you. And this is another drugstore product that is excellent. It's actually gone viral on TikTok. People really love it. I can see why it's a really good product. And before moving on, I also apply some of that concealer to my eyelids to even out the discoloration. And then I set the lids under the eyes and the oily T-zone areas of my face with the Visanti Lotus Brightening Powder using a triangular powder puff that I got at Sephora. Now, moving on to brows. I have really thin brows, so I do need to fix them up quite a bit. If you have beautiful full brows, you can comb some brow mascara through them and call it a day. But for me, I do need to correct the shape a lot. So I have two drugstore products that I am really enjoying for this right now. The first one is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is nice because it has a really thin tip and you get loads of precision from it. I usually use this product to define the mids and tails of my brows. And then I switch over to this product by Lottie London. This is called the Arc Rival and it's a microblading effect pen. It's actually an amazing product for sketching brow hairs at the front. I've tried so many different brow pens, including the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that's super expensive. And this is by far, by far my favorite one and it's dirt cheap. I actually learned about it from someone who works at Sephora. I was buying a brow pen and I was unhappy with it. I was returning one actually and trying to find another one. And she was like, you need to go to Walmart and buy the one by Lottie London because it's the best. And she was, absolutely right <laughs> it is the best one i've tried so many i think it's the best one if you're looking for a microblading effect get the lottie london one at walmart because it's awesome okay and then i finished my brows off with the elf cosmetics wow brow gel again this is inexpensive it's absolutely amazing it's a volumizing fiber brow gel that leaves these little hair like fibers on the brows and makes them look much thicker if you use this product completely on its own it makes a huge difference as well if you have a better Better brow shape than I do, then you can totally just use this product on its own and like, bam, it's done in a minute. It won't take you nearly as long, um, you know, than if you have to go in and define and reshape and all of that stuff. So if you have brow hairs, don't bother. Brow gel, out the door you go. Before I move on to eyes, I like to curl my lashes. If you apply your eye products first and then curl your lashes, sometimes the lash curler will pull off some of the eye makeup, especially the liner, which isn't a huge deal when you have a little bit more time. But if you're in a big hurry, curl first so you don't have to fiddle with it. A one and done eye look that works really well is a cream shadow stick. I always save these for my very rush days. It's not fancy, but it looks good. It really does and it's super fast. So this one is by Laura Geller. It has a cream shadow on one side with a complimentary liner on the other side. It's awesome. The color that I'm using here is called Classic. So it's a shimmery gold beige cream shadow with a standard black liner on the other side. I just just apply the cream shadow on the entire lid and then I blend it through kind of quickly and but gently you know with a crease brush just to soften out the pigment a little bit when I line my lashes with the black side I usually do one of two things depending on how much time I have if I have a little extra time I will tight line from underneath to make my lash line look dense and then I'll apply a little to the lid and blend it out quickly with an angled brush if I don't have time I will just tight line so tight lining takes five seconds so so quick and so easy. You can see the difference from one eye to the other. I wanted to really show you the difference here. So tight lining only or blending out a little bit more on the lid. Those are the big differences. When you blend out on the lid, you get a little bit more definition, a little bit more drama. When you tight line only, you still get definition, but it's much more natural. So if you're a more natural girl or you're in a hurry, tight line, out the door. Now we are ready for our mascara. I am really excited to show you this product because I think a ton of you will fall in love with it. This is the City Beauty Mascara and it's made specifically for me, <laughs> okay? For thin, brittle, short, and sparse lashes. It's not really made for me, but I mean, I. It, well, it is, because I have like no lashes. I have no lashes. City Beauty and I need to come up with some like brand collab, <laughs> you know, no brows, no lashes products specifically for me. <laughs> this is really nice, okay? It has a super rich pigment. It doesn't flake and it even conditions the lashes, helping them to look thicker over time. If you need, you know, if you're looking for a new mascara, you need a super solid mascara that works really well for adding density to thin lashes, try this out. It is absolutely 
fantastic. Now, here's the deal that I mentioned earlier. There is a buy one, get one free promotion going on right now, right in time for the holiday season, which is so exciting. And it's on the mascara and the City Lips plumping glosses. Guys, don't miss this deal because it's an amazing, amazing sale. So you can mix and match the City Lips and the mascara. So you can get two for the price of one or four for the price of two by putting these products in your cart and then using the code GLAMGABBY50. I'm popping it up here. The clear gloss is amazing for plumping and prepping the lips like what I just did. And the colored glosses are also amazing for plumping and for adding vibrancy. They're super pigmented. They last all day. You can get them in a matte formulation or a shiny formulation. I have literally every single color. I do. I absolutely love them. So I'm confident that you're going to love them too. Or if you're giving them as a gift, the person who receives them will love it. It is impossible to not love this product. It really is amazing. I use it every, every single day. Okay, so speaking of lips, I am a total lipstick girl. So when I'm done most of my makeup, I remove my plumping gloss because my lips are now prepped. Do you see how full and also how flush they are compared to the beginning of the video? So cool, right? So cool. And then I go in with my liner. When I'm in a hurry, I add liner to the cupid's bow and the center of the bottom lip. And I tend to kind of skip the sides just because, you know, no one has time for that. <laughs> the very center of the lip is where it makes the most impact. So if you're rushing, just line the cupid's bow and the bottom center. I blend that out softly so that I have more of like a defined mouth and then I go over it with my gloss. I'm using the MAC lip liner in the color Spice and the City Lips of Gloss in the color Nude, which is a staple for me. I often get asked what color I'm wearing in my videos and nine times out of 10, it's this one. <laughs> now to finish off this entire look, I like to go in with the NARS Laguna bronzer and warm up my forehead, carve out my cheekbones, and I couldn't help myself today. So I also took a liner brush and I stretched out my eyeliner a little bit to lift the corners of my eyes up. I don't even feel like myself without a baby wing. <laughs> I do it every day. I didn't wanna do it today because I know a lot of you guys struggle with a winged liner, but I, I literally cannot wear my eyes without a winged liner. So if you wanna try it, just take a liner brush and lift up that line a little bit more. You don't even need extra products. It will just give you such a beautiful lift right at the corners. It's very, very useful. And then I went in with a cream blush. This one is the Glow Play Blush by MAC and it's in the color Grand, which is a love lovely peachy, very natural wearable tone. As my very last step, I like adding some setting spray just to lock everything in place. This is the Dewy Setting Spray again by Lottie. This is the finished look. Once you get good at doing these steps, you can create this entire look in 10 minutes or less. I guarantee it. It is so simple and non-fussy and because it's fresh and radiant, it will take 10 years 10 years off your face, okay? Last week at a creator conference, I got asked if I was in my mid 20s and I am definitely close to 40. Doing makeup goes a long way. Don't forget to check out City Beauty. They really have some incredible products. I will leave a link to everything and the details for the discount code in my description box and also in my pinned comment below. If you guys are enjoying this content, then also don't forget to subscribe. It really, really does help me grow and be able to continue making more and more content for you. This video is over.